Hello everyone, I am Dr. Balaji, working as assistant professor and consultant physician. Today's topic is about how is the impact of hypertension on kidney's function and how we are going to prevent it. So basically, oh, what is the blood pressure? So blood pressure is a, when the heart pumps, the blood comes to the vessels. So when the vessels exert the pressure, which is called as a blood pressure. So normally in a, uh, healthy individuals, the blood pressure usually rise and fall. So, if it is a patient affected blood pressure, so the persistent, the blood pressure is going to be persistent above a range. Okay, we'll discuss later about what is the range and what we are going to do it about it. So, coming to kidney functions, we have we have a two kidneys and which is around the size of fit, fist. Okay, so what is the basic functions of the kidney? It removes the uh, water and the waste material from the blood. So it removes the impurities. So when the blood pressure affects the kidneys, the kidney is going to get damaged. So impurities can't get go outside. So it results in a chronic kidney disease. In India, the chronic kidney disease has been increasing. The incidence is around 229 per million population. Okay, that is very increasing in amount. According to the International uh, Kidney Center, the incidence is 16.8 percent. Okay. So, the major complication for the kidney disease is diabetes and hypertension. How does the blood pressure affect the kidney? So, what does the blood pressure do to our body? So, blood pressure usually narrows the blood vessels. When the narrow blood vessels causes, the blood flow will be reduced. Okay. So, it occurs in throughout the body. Okay. Same as the kidneys. When the blood pressure goes less to the kidney, so it normally the functions are going to get decreased. So, what is the main functions with we have seen? It removes the waste and and on the impurities okay so it normally increases if it is decreases means it's going to increase okay so the extra amount of impurities get added up it also results in the increase in the blood pressure so who is going to get the hypertension the older person because the vessel wall of the older person is going to thicken and stiff so because of that they are going to get hypertension who are other patients and the patient who is having a blood pressure in the families, it normally comes in the families also. Okay, so the unhealthy lifestyles, what is the unhealthy lifestyles? Inactivity and alcohol beverages and uh, taking junk foods and increased amounts of sodium in the food. That all causes the increased uh, blood pressure. What are the symptoms of the kidney disease and patient having high blood pressure? So generally the patient will go unnoticed with the patient having high blood pressure. Because why? Because they are like commonly they have a headache and associated with nausea or vomiting and giddiness. Okay, and the patient might have a syncope also. So these are not get unnoticed and patient get a symptomatic treatment for that. They go, they doesn't check for the blood pressure and leads to problematic later. Okay, so how the kidney disease also earlier stage of kidney disease also get unnoticed. Okay, same thing as a we see in the hypertension. Okay, here the patient having a lead to a uh, worsen thing only patient get noticed. What are the symptoms of the worsen? Okay, edema and uh, pleural effusion or pulmonary edema and uh, edema around the all over the face and uh, legs and uh, abdomen or occurs. Okay, so then only patient comes to the hospital and then only patient knows that they have gone to a later stage of the kidney disease. So how can we prevent or slow the progression of the kidney disease because of the hypertension? So basically we can able to prevent the progression of the disease. How can? With the medication and the lifestyle management. What are we going to see? So lifestyle management, we should be keeping a healthy weight. Okay, so we should maintain our weight with as per the BMI range. Okay, next one is we should avoid the sodium. That means sodium salts in the food items and avoid junky foods and avoid smoking and have a physical life. Okay, go for a walking, go for a have an exercise. Okay, at least for 30 minutes of walking can be able to reduce her hypertension. So no matter whatever the causes for the kidney disease, it may be due other causes of the other causes for the kidney disease. But the hypertension going to be make even more worse when it is there. Okay, so we should control the hypertension to prevent the kidney disease for the progression onto more worsen state. So how can we treat the blood pressure and kidney disease? So first we are going to see about the medicines. So medicines usually helps to lower the kidney disease progression, same as the hypertension. So what are the medications we are going to use? There are different types of medications there and one is sen uh, diuretics, sympathetics and beta blockers, calcium channel blockers. And the diuretics helps to reduce the uh, fluid from the body and reduces the blood pressure. Okay. So next exercise. So what is the basic uh, necessary? So it requires uh, to reduce the hypertension. So what level and what is the time that everybody asks. 
so it is basically 150 minutes per week at least for week you should be there for 150 minutes of moderate aerobic intensity work okay so at least the moderate aerobic means you're going for cycling swimming whatever it is okay so initially start for 10 minutes then you pick up the each for each uh, week or each day you start picking up for 15 then for 20 then for 30 so that makes uh, the so the exercise makes your heart beats faster and your breathing faster and helps to reduce the blood pressure so after the medicines and uh, uh, exercise next thing is you're into body weight so what is the body weight as i told you earlier reduce the body weight around 7 to 10 percent of your uh, body weight of first years of a treatment okay so keep the uh, keep the body weight under your bmi of 25 less than 25 okay so next one is stress how are you going to cope up with the stress practice yoga meditations and then go for physical activity as i told you earlier and then out try to calm and listen to your musics okay these are all things helps you reduce your hypertension these are the lifestyle modification which helps along with the uh, medication so that you can able to reduce the hypertension so how do a healthcare professional diagnose hypertension and kidney disease so basically when you visit to a clinic or a hospital they usually use this type of apparatus this is called as apparatus and this apparatus helps you to diagnose your hypertension range so normal range is 120 by 80 okay more than that is considered as a hypertension they will tie this cuff around your arm and measure the blood pressure they will teach you and how periodically to record the blood pressure so once the uh, professional find out that you have a blood pressure with the blood bp apparatus the next uh, step is they're going for a ecg which is a basic step investigation to find out whether you have an already have an hypertension or recently newly diagnosed okay there is a change in any heart change in the because of the hypertension okay so they go for ecg and echo okay so next how are we going to find out the kidney disease the kidney disease same thing for kidneys so usually we have seen previously the kidney size is even the fist size okay so the kidney was once the disease progress in the kidney disease the kid kidney gets shrunken okay so it's usually seen in the ultrasound of the abdomen and then we go for a renal function test that is rft okay that is we will see that a creatinine and urea then serum electrolytes along with that and then give for urine albumin which is passed in the urine so how does the eating diet and nutrition affects the blood pressure okay so we are already seen the sodium okay the food contains which contains sodium increases the blood pressure so we need to lower the sodium there is a one diet plan is we are following right now dash dietary approach to the hypertension which has been followed recently to control the hypertension so the dash eating plan is to low fat and cholesterol which is fat free and low fat milk and dietary products and poultry lesser amount of sugars and sugar containing agents and uh, lesser amount of fatty foods okay fatty meats and sweets and try to take rich in nutrition that is protein and fibers basically if you have any doubts in regarding the diet plan we should need we should ask the dietitian to prescribe a diet plan for us okay so why the the cholesterol why the cholesterol is going to play an important role in a hypertension so that's why we need to reduce the fat and cholesterol items which also reduces the blood pressure at last i would like to such suggest that there is nothing more than having a fit and healthy life adapting to a healthy lifestyle can help to prevent a long lifestyle love long life and this also prevents us from having a uh, blood pressure as we discussed earlier keeping the blood pressure in under control helps to prevent the kidney disease and the disease progression so we have come to a conclusion today of our topic so as we discussed earlier about the kidney disease and hypertension so it is very much important to uh, check your check with your physician about your lifestyle and your uh, medications and regular follow up should be there so to prevent the disease progression and to keep an have a healthy life